Hi, this is Andrea Earle with a short tutorial on how to add Flocabulary to your Canvas course. Start by logging into your course, go to Assignments, and select Add Assignment. Since this is just practice, go ahead and call the, the assignment Flocabulary Practice. You can add directions, which would simply be watch the video or complete this lesson. Slide down, add your point value. Vocabulary has multiple parts, so think, keep that in, take that into consideration when you're deciding how many points. Slide down, select external tool as your submission type, and then click find for vocabulary. Select vocabulary, highlight it, hit select, slide down, don't sync to Aries yet, and then come to the bottom and hit save. Once you've saved your vocabulary assignment, the vocabulary screen will populate inside of Canvas window. Select your school. For us, we're at Mendez. So Gonzalo Felicitas Mendez, hit submit. And then it says click the button below to start using vocabulary. Continue, accept the term of, terms of service, and now you are in vocabulary. The first, next thing you're going to need to do is to create a class. So I'm simply going to call this my sandbox class. I'm going to say it's a sixth grade class and my subject is language arts or math or other. It really doesn't matter. I am going to turn on immersive readers so students have access that, to that during their vocabulary lessons. I'm now going to create my class. Now to invite students to your class, you can either send them invitations or send them this link. So I'm going to copy this link just so I'm sure that I have it. It's copied on my clipboard. And here you can see my class. Now I need to go in and select a lesson. So say this is a language arts lesson. I want to do something on grammar. And I can slide down. I can see all the different lessons. They do have suggested grade levels. Um, but the students do not see the grade levels, so you pick what you think is important. So maybe we'll do a uh, subject and predicate, run on sentences. You can pick anything you want. I'm going to do sentence fragments, because that seems to be a common problem. I can watch the video, make sure it's what I like. You can add discussion points, which means the video will pause and there'll be a question that you can discuss as a class. i only use that if you're doing that as a live lesson. Otherwise, you want students to watch the video. There are vocabulary cards, a vocabulary game. There's a read and respond section activity. There's a quiz. And then the most fun is the lyrics lab. Okay. So select, you're going to hit assign if you like this lesson. If you don't like it, go find another lesson. Until you actually hit assign and select your class, it's not assigned. Now you're going to select the activities you want the students to participate in. Well, I want them to watch the video. I'm going to have them play the vocabulary game, read, respond, uh, quiz, and I'm going to put in the lyrics lab. Uh, I want it visible starting today and select a due date. Create assignment. Assignment is now created and you are done. The first time students access a vocabulary lesson in your course, they will need to join your class. So have them go to vocabulary lesson. They'll get an error screen, but it's really not. Instead, they just simply click join class they will then enter the class code that you provided that for them. 
once they hit submit, they can simply choose, I already have a Flowcabulary account, even if they don't, and sign in, log in with Google. They should enter their Google information. Enter their Google credentials and it will take them to the vocabulary lesson that you have assigned. They can also check the assignments tab at the top and they can see that I have assigned them text structure. They can also see any of the other assignments assigned by other instructors. Once they click start, then they'll work through the lesson. After they watch the video, then they will move on to vocabulary cards and the other activities. Now students can complete activities you have not assigned, but they must complete the ones you have assigned. Once students have completed the assignment, you can then look at the results through any of your vocabulary assignments. Open the assignment and you'll see all of your classes listed you can click on grade assignments, choose the assignment you want to grade. I can see one out of one student has submitted. The only thing I do need to grade is the Lyric Lab. Everything else will be self graded. When I click on view all, then I have, I can see that this person got 83% on the vocabulary game. They did watch the video. Uh, they got 17% on read and respond, 20% on the quiz, and they need to grade the Lyric Lab. And here are my suggestions for best practices when using vocabulary with your students. Number one, start with a fun topic, low cognitive demand. When, and whenever you introduce a new skill or a new tool to students, you should always do something, uh, a fun lesson, no new content. Have the students complete this lesson in small groups or complete it as a whole class. Two, create separate classes for each of your classes in Canvas. Three, complete each lesson yourself before you assign it. Because sometimes there may be elements of a lesson that you really like and want to emphasize or other elements that you just don't want to include in a particular lesson. And number four, Check out blog.vocabulary.com. It's full of, a, of resources and ideas about other teachers are using vocabulary with their students. Hope this helps, and I know your students are going to enjoy playing with vocabulary. Have a great day.